My name is Jason Mann. I am the director of the Archaeological Research Center at Troy University and a lecturer of anthropology in the Department of Social Sciences. Today we are here uh, in Wilcox County, Alabama, um, looking at a potential Indian mound which uh, we believe may date to around 1500 years ago, around uh, 500 AD or so. We do know it is indeed an archaeological site, a very good archaeological site, but we do not know the specifics of, uh, of what uh, culture and uh, what time frame specifically we're talking about um, in regards to uh, uh, the kinds of artifacts we are finding. My name is Xu Niu. I'm an associate professor at Geomatics. Uh, we take students out here to do a what's so called topographic survey, basically mapping the ground surface, uh, try to generate uh, topographic maps. We have a NCRS sponsored project. We're using aerial LIDAR to detect, extract uh, archaeological sites because you see that this land is so big, it's a huge land, about four, more than 400 acres of land. They had to detect, find out archaeological sites. If you step by step, use your hand or use shovels, take them forever to find them. Um, this is in an unusual location. It is located along a very nice creek, which, which is not unusual. But uh, this creek is, uh, where we're at on this creek is not anywhere near uh, any of the major waterways in Alabama. Um, and so that's kind of different. Also, this is located technically in a wetland area. Um, and this is an area that uh, would typically flood, but it appears that um, the Native Americans, uh, uh, some 1,500 years ago, they may have built an artificial terrace and, um, or found a small natural island type area in the middle of wetlands, uh, which uh, gave them a, a wonderful place to uh, live on uh, next to a, uh, um, a very nice creek. I'm Teresa Paglione. I am the cultural resource specialist, otherwise known as the archaeologist for Alabama NRCS. We're on a property that is part of our uh, wetland reserve program. We are restoring wetlands on farmlands. The reason we have archaeology out here is because we hired uh, several archaeological survey crews, including Troy through Jason Mann, and, and uh, had all of these properties surveyed because if the government owns it, we have to know what we have and we have to make sure that we do not contribute to the destruction of important archaeological sites. And this here is one of our important archaeological sites. Today we're out here because I have the permission of the landowner and it's a cooperative thing where the students can get some real experience with the archaeology and with the uh, Dr. Nui with the uh, geomatics class doing some surveying with the GPS. Hopefully there'll be some uh, future archaeologists that will stick with it. But if not, at least they're going to know what archaeology is and in the public realm they can have an appreciation for what archaeology is as opposed to just artifact collecting. They're going to understand the context and the science and, and the anthropology part of it too where you're studying people and that's what we're doing here, studying people and where they lived. I'm Rachel. Yeah, we try to do club dig uh, like once a semester and Jason Mann, he'll bring his intro to archaeology class with us too. Um, it's been a really useful tool because you actually get to get in there and see how you're doing it exactly and um, it's a lot easier to do units and stuff if you actually get to do it and work through it yourself. It's a lot better than just going in the classroom and learning how to do it but not actually getting to physically do it.